what's the context? Targeted as an individual. Targeted as an, at an individual. It's Do targeted at reason? Jewish students, Jewish individuals. Do you understand your testimony is dehumanizing them? Do you understand that dehumanization is part of anti-Semitism? I will ask you one more time. Damn. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment? Yes or no? Yeah. Damn. What in the world does he We're back, kids? Let's Go. Let's Happy go. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Holidays. Happy holidays. Holiday. They just be getting lit and doing whatever the hell they want to do. Christmas. <laughs> Merry, yeah. Merry Christmas. Nobody cares about Kwanzaa anymore. Kwanzaa's and out. Had its run. Take that Jude off. Is that Jude off? Out? No one talking about it. No one cares. It's not, it's not canceled. It's just irrelevant. Well, yeah. Uh, what about this starting. menorah? I think we're on day five of this uh, weird, wacky Hebe holiday. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have enough candles missing? Yeah, we have the right amount. There you go. Damn. Eight off. Are we going to get in trouble with the president of Harvard for letting us? <laughs> 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 Just say genocide is bad. Yeah. I think I I think I hurt Joe Bizzle for shizzles. Um, I, I think I hurt Joe Bizzle for, um, for shizzles. Uh, Feelings, man. Oh, it looked like he's leaving. Did I hurt your feelings, bro? I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, my man. That's not that's not ever my intent, for real. That's that's now I feel sad. Now I feel sad. But much love to you. Yeah, I can't is, do it. I can't. Come it's, on. It's so good sometimes. See, she got busted <laughs> for plagiarizing today. No. Who did? The president of Harvard. Well, for, she for saying genocide is, is right. My no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, Hitler said that. She plagiarized her dissertation. Oh, oh really? Oh, yeah. shit. Harvard's got some great talent out there. Yikes. Well, yeah. she's gone now, right? I think they fired her. I don't think so. I no. think some of them are gone and some of them aren't. What is the, what's the latest on those three ladies? We should play that video because the video is fucking It's insane. wild. The congressman is like, I, what? What? Yeah. It's insane. You gotta get it's those three. It's a congresswoman, right? Get them on here. Yeah. 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 Earth lady is here. What's going yeah. on, April? You can conduct genocide, or you can't conduct. You gotta get them in there like, what's what's your favorite genocide? <laughs> what? <laughs> like your top six genocides. Spanish Inquisition. Spanish Inquisition was a good one. Does that count? Is that a gen? What? Gen yeah, Z? Gonna, so These here. dudes are nuts, I man. It does. Yeah. Spanish what are they smoking yeah, in cheers. the studio? Oh, cheers. Cheers. I haven't even seen that video yet. Of those ladies, Cheers, what? gentlemen, I haven't seen it. Oh, you haven't I seen the video. Off to it. I'm telling you, this uh, Hamas is poking a hole in everything. It's all good, except for the dead people. Okay, but if you want to get, up, big you get really crazy about this, <laughs> yeah, while I'm wearing this fucking off to a hot start. glasses, protect oh, yeah. Do you, <laughs> do you ever kill Bill? Bill? <laughs> and somebody called Joe Bizzle back, um, um, if he hasn't left already. Yeah. <laughs> How much time do you guys ever wonder about whether or not there's foreign influence in the way uh, things are? Like discussed on college campuses. Much less. What do you mean you? foreign influence? I think. Uh, I think. I think uh, there's been an ideological capture of colleges, and Yuri Bezmenov, the the former KGB uh, guy from the Soviet <coughs> Union, when he defected, he talked about this like openly. That that the Soviet Union has been trying to do this forever. They've been trying to demoralize uh, America by infecting their educational institutions, and it's a multi generational approach. You infect the kids with Marxism and Leninism in the universities, and then you indoctrinate them to these ideas, and then they go off and slowly start to seep into the workplace. And over the course of several generations, you completely diminish their confidence in democracy and what they think about America. You you destroy all of the confidence that they have in America, and that's exactly what's happening. Could be when they're saying Osama bin Laden was correct. <laughs> I wish you would have said all that with the Fuck. Asian mask. Yeah. I know. I could, damn it, the mask is too. It was like too hard to form sentences. Oh, While you were saying, the only thing I was thinking of. Oh, the weather outside. Is <laughs> <laughs> a great grandfather who was once a slave master. Hmm, we can use that. We can incorporate that. You know what I mean? Just thinking, just thinking off the top of the head. Just thinking. The ball is in your court. <laughs> it's a great song. Like, Let's play the video, Jamie. Because this, a... this video, this is video to me. It seems like this is like Let's a great to the example of the madness. Pull it up, J-Mo. Of our current era. This is, this is the madness 
encapsulated because it's literally like the heads of some of the most prestigious educational institutions. Take the brightest young minds. Oh, my get, bad. Get to go to Harvard. <laughs> watch. God the it. brightest young minds that get God to go to Harvard. That's the school. It's the fucking school. Oh, it's yeah. the intellectual peak in terms of the way we view really the world. Listen to what you say. Put the headphones on, boys. We can always put the ears back. <laughs> and I know I went on a rant about the the wrong song. I do it all the time. If the speech turns into conduct, it can be harassing. Why is she smiling? I am asking. Yeah. Specifically calling for the genocide of Jews. Does that constitute bullying or harassment? <laughs> if it is directed and severe or pervasive, it is harassment. So the answer is yes. It is a context-dependent decision, Congresswoman. It's a context-dependent decision. That's your testimony today. Calling for the genocide of Jews is depending upon the context. That is not bullying or harassment. This, this is the easiest question to answer. Yes, Ms. McGill. Is she a Jew? I don't know. Uh, she's <laughs> a, she's a good you Catholic. Will not answer yeah. Yeah. yes if it uh, is if the yes or no. Why is she smiling? Conduct Weird. Be harassment. Yes. Conduct Hold meaning up. committing the act of genocide? She's getting worked up. That's the, the best. speech is not harassment. This is unacceptable. You must love this as a, as a Jewish man. For Look at this. the world to see your answer. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Penn's code of conduct when it comes to bullying and harassment? Yes or no? It's an easy answer. It can she's, be harassment. She's the smiling. answer is yes. And Weird. Dr. Gay... At Harvard. <laughs> Dr. Gay. <laughs> I knew, see, this right here just shows how immature men are. The Listen, Dr. Gay is absolutely hilarious, and I thought that I would be the only person in the room that thought it would be hilarious. But these guys, and, and I'm not even high like them. Like I haven't smoked any weed, reefers, none of that. But I'm still a man, baby. And... Dr. Gay is hilarious. All right. What's the context? Targeted as an individual. Targeted as, at an individual. It's Do targeted at Jewish students, Jewish individuals. Do you understand your testimony is dehumanizing them? Do you understand that dehumanization is part of anti-Semitism? I will ask you one more time. Damn. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment? Yes or no? Anti-Semitic rhetoric when and it is it anti-Semitic rhetoric? rhetoric? Anti-Semitic rhetoric when it crosses into conduct that amounts to bullying, harassment. Wow, they can't do it. When it crosses into conduct, they cannot say it because they know that they are playing a game of chess. These people are extremely intelligent. They know that they're being set up, and they are. <laughs> oh, you thought you had me, did you? <laughs> They are blocking, they are counterpunching, they are, man, they, the feet work are amazing. Now, we see that they're losing, their back is against the wall, and they are getting beat down. But at the end of the day, they are playing chess. And if they admit to what she's telling them to admit to, then they lose. They know this already. So, hey, you, you, you can still answer her, but answer her without answering her. Rhetoric this is player. just ladies versus ladies arguments. No one's going so, anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> They're locked in, dude. I've had a tough morning, too. We need Herb Dean to stand them back up. But this is, pause for a second. This is like literally one of the most clear things. If you would imagine in society, just imagine 10 years ago before any of this woke shit really took off. Yeah. Could you imagine there would ever be a time before the Palestine thing, there but would ever be a time where you would be in Congress, you would be on television, you would, you, you, would, you would be talking to the head of a university, not a wacky student, not some crazy person that's a part of some far <coughs> left like, president, yeah. psycho organization, the fucking president. And they can't say they, that calling for the genocide of Jews, just Jews, period, is harassment. It's fucking insane. It seems like textbook so, harassment. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's way worse. I mean, one is racist and one is cool. You say it with the ah. Uh, Baby, you in there. <laughs> you in there like swimwear. You know what I mean? You say it with the er. That's disrespect. That's that right there. You you should probably expect to be punched in the neck. Ah versus er. It does matter.
It does matter. Make ah great again. 